Hi, we're about ready to get started with creating this James Bond database application. And the first thing that we're going to do is go find the data that we're going to use in this app. So to find the data source for this uh, application that you see in front of you here, I went to Wikipedia. So I found this list on Wikipedia called the List of James Bond Gadgets. And you can see down here that every single gadget in every movie is displayed here. So the name of the movie, the description of the gadget, and then of course the actor that goes with it. So here's the final database in the Excel spreadsheet that I created. So I've had to copy and paste all of the data and then start arranging it into columns. So this probably took me a good hour of work. I had to move things around, fill down, put some titles on the top, make sure that there are no quotation marks that would mess up the data. And so this is kind of a tedious process. So I think I will supply this to you. That way you don't have to recreate it yourself. Now to make this thing work, if you take your Excel spreadsheet and choose Save As, you can save it as a data format called CSV. So the CSV format will put commas between each of the columns, and so that way it's easily imported into other products. I'll save it. The next page that I went to on the internet was a page that will convert from CSV to SQL. And so you can see the results here. So I copied and pasted my code from the database in the spreadsheet, and then I was able to map it to these uh, different titles or different uh, uh, column headings. And then when I've gotten at the end, it says you can generate a SQL file. So this will actually create my table and then it will insert into the table all of the values. And so all of this work here would take forever if you had to type it out yourself, but with a CSV format and a tool like this one online, it goes pretty well. So this is how I got the data and formatted it to run in the database.